As a reminder, a winter weather advisory is in effect right now, and it will remain in effect through tonight and into tomorrow morning. As of now, it's set to expire Monday at noon. It's for all these purple counties, so yes, that is indeed the entire area, and this has been issued in anticipation of that freezing rain and sleet that we should experience into tonight. But that's not the only alert to talk about. We've got a wind chill advisory for much of the region in these light blue shades. That goes into effect Monday night into Tuesday morning. That's the time where we're going to be experiencing some wind chills below zero, although certainly for the next several hours it's going to be cold either way. There is a hard freeze warning, by the way, from now through Wednesday for these counties shaded in blue. That was issued by the National Weather Service offices down to the south, but you could pretty much argue that this is a hard freeze for everybody considering these temperatures. So that's certainly a uh, really kind of a no brainer there. And then we go into future track and I know we haven't seen a whole lot of sleet or freezing rain just yet. We've had reports of a few pellets here and there, but once we get into that seven o'clock and eight o'clock time frame, things should really start to perk up. The atmosphere will become a little more saturated and we should really start to see this fall. Now it's not going to be heavy amounts of sleet or freezing rain coming down at any one time. It'll be light and steady, but it's all going to add up overnight. So we continue to see this build through the area overnight and going into Monday morning and certainly in the daylight hours of Monday morning, we'll still have some of this scattered activity of freezing rain and sleet around. I'm still thinking it should primarily be sleet, but we can't again be ruling out some actual rain coming down with that and then freezing on contact becoming freezing rain. So it's going to contribute to some small ice accumulations and we should be seeing that finally drift away by the time we go into Monday afternoon and maybe seeing a little bit of sunshine there at the end of the day on Monday. Tuesday though still very cold. We'll see some clouds in the morning pulling away in the afternoon to get some more sunshine back in here, but we're still going to be below freezing for many, many hours and that's not going to change until Wednesday. So ice accumulations again, we're talking about a tenth of an inch or a little more along I-45 and then less than a tenth as you head out through the rest of Central Texas, but that's still enough to coat some roadways, bridges and overpasses for sure. Untreated roads, they might be all right, uh, or uh, treated roads should be okay rather. It's the untreated roads you'll have to watch, and even for the places that have been treated, I would look at those with caution because it doesn't take much to have some slick spots. We go into wind chills now, wind chills in the single digits to near zero tomorrow morning, and Tuesday morning, those wind chills below zero. That's why that wind chill advisory is there. We go into tonight with temperatures falling down into the teens. Some of us are already in the teens, and that's where we'll stay. High temperatures tomorrow, struggling to make it into those upper 20s. And then we stay below freezing for the next little while. 30 on Tuesday, 12 degrees on Wednesday morning but we will finally make it up to about 43 degrees later that day. 55 degrees on Thursday with some mix of sun and clouds. Sunny over the weekend, but it looks like we'll have another cool down dipping us into the 30s by Saturday.